Hi everyone, this is The Apathetic Fish and I'm bringing you another video and this is going to be my September giveaway uh, for my Patreon supporters and I'm going to give away this Guardsman right here. You may see, have seen him in my uh, one of my tutorials and I have uh, this time I have uh, 53 entries to the giveaway all right so quickly I'm gonna generate a number between 1 and 53 and let's do this number 6 who is number 6 Luke Perrier that's the name let me just zoom in a little bit number six is six is Luke Perrier uh, congratulations man uh, thank you very much for being my patron I'll be contacting you soon and thank you very much for watching uh, I'll let you know that you won this little guardsman right here and getting your address information so that I can send it to you and that's it so I figured that since we are here uh, we're going to I want to hang out with you guys a little bit and uh, talk to you about what's on my mind and while I talk to you, I'm going to work on some blood crushers. Uh, I know this is not the best uh, option for the Corn Demon Kin Codex, but I like the model very much. And uh, they always get killed, but I think if, if I bring them in bigger numbers, I could maybe uh, overwhelm my opponent and even more if I decide to bring uh, a bloodthirster uh, people kinda panic when they see a big threat like that and then can they can sometimes um, ignore other threats such as the blood crushers and yep I'm gonna try to put this together while I'll talk, I'll talk to you and um, um, I'm back at school right now. I am taking art classes and finishing my associates in architecture. And it's a hell of a hot day here in San Diego. But that's why I have my fan going on in the background. And I hope it doesn't sound very loud. But yeah, um, I've been having a lot of, uh, a little bit of a uh, financial trouble because I am a student, I have a part-time job, and the YouTube channel is not doing very well, to be honest. It's uh, declining ever since this uh, year started. But that's okay, I guess. I started this channel just to make a little extra money for my hobby and to be able to afford this uh, plastic crack, as some people call it. I've been trying to really push the Patreon page so that it's a little bit more uh, viable to keep doing these videos. Uh, it's not like I'm going to stop and I can still make a couple of videos a month sometimes more sometimes less but overall it's about two or three videos a month tutorials and I wanted to expand to make uh, battle reports because I'm I'm starting to get some very interesting games and uh, I, I have a lot of fun playing 
but I don't feel as comfortable with the rules. I feel like I'm gonna mess up a lot, but I'm gonna try to make a battle report at least. Try it out. See if I like it. What do you guys think? Should I start making battle reports? I know it's a lot of edit editing. Uh, it's like making a painting tutorial takes a lot of time as well. And uh, making a battle report. I've made one, a War Machine battle report in the past. And it was a ton of edit editing, even though it was a short battle. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. And uh, I don't know. I'm not doing this for the money anymore. I mean, I want to get paid for doing this, but overall, it's not really uh, something that will give me a lot of money. I wish that this could be my job, just to make videos for you and uh, release more videos a month. Uh, that's why I have my Patreon and that's why I keep pushing it uh, trying to get more people to pledge money and sort of uh, encouraging them to be my Patreon so, they, that, so that they can win one of my painted miniatures for tutorials uh, I mean, the idea of giving away my miniatures came just one day that I thought that wouldn't that be cool that my miniatures that are just sitting on the shelf uh, to spread around the world, like being with some other people that watch my channel and that like my content. I mean, it's not like I can play those miniatures because uh, they're just, well, unique unique paint jobs and I don't collect all of those uh, armies and uh, I thought it would be pretty cool sort of uh, extend my reach to make presence in other places where people watch my content if you know what I mean to leave, to leave something for you guys that I've done so that if, I don't know something happens I can still uh, if I'm not able to make more videos or something there's uh, something that I did somewhere out there in the world that someone likes and that's pretty cool I think uh, let's see do I have all the pieces apparently I need the legs there they are so yeah, um, I've been thinking about making maybe uh, taking small commissions, but I know that uh, given that I'm going to college full time and I have a part time job, I'm not going to really make a lot of money out of painting miniatures unless very wealthy people want to commission for from me. Uh, I'm a slow painter, I take a lot of time, I'm sort of lazy, so I don't think I can make a good uh, wage uh, to pay myself for doing that job. I might as well just continue uh, working on my regular job or get a, or get a different one and uh, so that I can have some money to continue to exist. Mm. There we go. Um, if you have uh, heard from other painters on YouTube, uh, such as Mini Wargamer J, uh, shout out to him. He's a pretty cool guy and. I like his channel a lot, I watch it, and you should too. Um, 
they are not doing very well and overall we are not doing very well the YouTube community is not making money it is not all about money but when you're trying to make a business out of this it it's kind of a bummer that you invest a lot of time and effort to make uh, good quality content and uh, not get many returns for it um, I think that at least for every tutorial that I make I spend around 8 to 12 hours if it's easy if it's harder it could be anything from that to 15 hours uh, all of the edit editing and the painting and the shooting of the video it takes some effort and it's a little bit tiring sometimes and sometimes you just don't feel like wanting to do a video um, so YouTube is not viable that's why we are all getting uh, Patreon, Patreon accounts and, and yeah I don't think there's anything wrong about that uh, if people support creators on the internet then that's great I have some people that wanted me to make uh, some uh, more tutorials but I kind of run out of miniatures to paint I need to order some I think from eBay I'm going to order some whenever I get some money uh, right now I'm kind of tight on my budget but I have a ton of unpainted miniatures for my army that I would like to paint and field someday and play. That's why I'm thinking maybe making uh, battle reports is a good step forward but I don't feel comfortable with the camera uh, with the camera and if you notice sometimes like here I'm rambling a lot because I'm not too accustomed to the language I don't I don't speak English that often although I'm getting better I don't speak it very often. I most of the time, time uh, speak and think in Spanish. So uh, I need to practice the language a little bit more and start being a little bit more uh, extroverted. Extroverted. Like uh, I'm, I'm sort of a shy person and I like being alone I like being here in my apartment um, and uh, work on miniatures and paint that's my deal I haven't seen my friends in a while because they're all uh, studying and having jobs and being adults like we all have to and uh, they live they live kind of far away so I haven't had time to uh, play any D&D &D or or hang out with them a lot and I kind of miss them So, so that's what's going on with me. What do you guys think? Um, if you guys want, you can leave uh, questions in this uh, video. Or in any, and I will try to make a Q&A style video where I can answer to your questions and that way I won't ramble as much as I'm doing right now let's see how much time 
13 minutes of rambling and a Patreon giveaway. I'm not even close to finish cleaning up this uh, blood pressure. It's a lot of time when assembling miniatures. Assembling miniatures is not my my deal. I don't like cleaning mold lines and uh, cutting plastic. My deal is painting. Painting is what I like to do. And I don't consider myself a professional. I do my best. Uh, some people have told me on my videos that that they think that my videos are the best they've seen. I disagree, but I try to make them as uh, user-friendly as I can, uh, to make them easy for people to just copy them and uh, paint their miniatures as I do with a very standard sort of uh, method of painting. And I wonder I wonder if I'm a little bit stuck because I haven't been learning a lot more than I than I do at the moment because I'm always painting the same way. I started getting into two brush blending and I painted uh, a war machine caster. I don't know if you saw it. It's called the Butcher of K of Cator. He turned out pretty good. I did I did slack a little bit on some details, but overall, the two brush blending is a very good technique to do more advanced painting. A uh, very quick way of highlighting and shading. And if you're interested, you should look for it in. YouTube. That's there's very good tutorials out there, and maybe I sh I will do some of the, I will do one whenever I feel comfortable with that technique. And yep. So as I said, I'm just rambling nonsense trying to work on these miniatures and think about some uh, topic that I can talk to you about um, as you may know college life is a little bit expensive like I have to save my money for books and material, art supplies, and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to keep, uh, well, to stay up to date with the Games Workshop releases and having all of the new models and stuff and paints and you know that all of those things um, that's why I don't upload uh, material that is uh, new releases that much I try to stay with cheap models that I can uh, find quickly and paint in any color scheme that I can. Some people want me to paint uh, expensive stuff, um, Forge World stuff, and um, big models like, uh, let's say, an ultramarine tank. I mean, I don't collect ultramarines. If I ever paint one, it's just gonna sit in my shelf like all of the other miniatures and it's going to be uh, I don't know how much uh, let's say a predator or a rhino costs it's around $35 here $40 and it's going to cost that it's going to cost 
the time that it takes me to paint it the supplies and it's not gonna do that many views and I mean it's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of uh, money for very little return so I hope you can understand that sometimes some videos I cannot do I wish I could but I can't and only if someone would donate that sort of money I could maybe try and do it but as I said um, I try to keep it cheap because I have other things to spend my money on I've been playing video games I've been playing a game called Destiny it's very fun uh, I haven't spent a dime in video games in a while but that video game I've been playing it for months and months and it doesn't get old for me um, then again I don't play that often I play whenever I have time maybe twice a week but it keeps me entertained I think the those uh, characters look a lot like uh, the characters from uh, Infinity. They look pretty cool. And there's going to be a new uh, DLC for that game. I don't know if I'm gonna keep buy it. So yeah, I'm rambling. Some of my points I didn't even finish, I'm sure. I'm changing the, changing the topic and losing myself on the conversation. Also, there's rumors for a new uh, Chaos Codex. If it comes out, I'm going to buy it. And I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna be happy. I hope. I hope that it's good. I don't know. At this point, I don't know what GW is doing. I don't know what if they really know what they're doing. Uh, I'm being reluctant to get into Age of Sigmar, although a friend of mine got the full set and he's going to split it with me, so that I can get the Chaos side. But to be honest, I'm not too, I'm not too uh, excited about getting into playing Age of Sigmar. I feel like if it's if there is no legit way to feel to make the game feel balanced, there can't be a real competition. And for me, games, it's about the fun, but it's also a competitive game. I mean. I'm not of those people that get super competitive and argue with uh, thousands of an inch or something like that. If it looks close enough, then yeah, you, you hit the model, that's fine. I'm not super competitive that way, uh, but I do want to have a fair game. I don't want to collect all of my miniatures, put them in the phone trays, move them around, drive 30 minutes to a game store to have a game that is super uh, in favor of one of the one of the players. Even if I'm winning by a lot, I feel kind of guilty, and I start playing a little bit softer because I don't want to destroy my opponents. I want my opponents to give up give up a good fight and I want the game to be interesting. The most interesting games I think are the ones that are uh, pretty much down to the last dice roll that they are super um, super close. That's what I like about gaming in this hobby I think.
I haven't played against uh, those top tier uh, armies such as Eldar and Tau and Necrons and I'm kind of scared of them but um, you should not play with the uh, assholes I think that's the key it doesn't matter what your opponent plays, if he is a cool player, if he's your friend and he is a cool guy, you are bound to have fun playing, I think. And uh, I kind of cleaned up all of, the, all of the parts already. Apparently, if not, I can clean them up later, I think. I still see... Uh, Mold lines here. Okay, there we go. There's a baby crying in the background. She's my niece. And it's a very hot day. I I would understand that she is uncomfortable. I am very comfortable. I have a ton of lights going on here and a fan and I'm still sweating. So I hope these horrible hot days stop. I don't like I don't like hot weather. If I could live somewhere cold I would. But I'm kinda of bound by my situation to still live here with my brother so here we go so if any of you live close to the San Diego area please uh, message me if you want to get a game with me I mean that would, that would be pretty cool. You don't have to appear on camera. I'm not going to necessarily try to upload everything I do. Sometimes I I don't unbox everything that I get. I don't uh, I don't record everything I do regarding the hobby. I do a lot of things by myself uh, because it's work and. Uh, I mean, if you're close by and you want to be friends, that's pretty much okay with me. I mean, that's awesome. I would love to to know more people, especially if they want to play. Okay. I've never done a tutorial on how to assemble plastic miniatures. I think it's pretty pretty straightforward there's nothing too uh, too difficult I guess I wonder if it's showing anything that I'm doing probably my hands are on the way all the time and I'm just rambling like a madman talking about things that don't even make sense and I forgot to cut the color the color of the juggernaut that's alright, I can do that at the end or I should cut it, cut it right now let's see, where is it? Uh, here's one I don't know if there are specific ones for each juggernaut. I don't think so. I think they're all pretty much the same. I would like to play more games. Again, I don't have that much time uh, lately. But on the weekends I can. Sometimes I can. OK. 
kind of would like to this to be a certain sort of uh, hangout on YouTube, but knowing my internet, it's very unreliable. Even though I paid for a little bit better internet than the bare minimum, I pay well for my internet connection, and still it it's always failing. Internet service here, it's pretty bad, I think. I've heard. I'm not 100% sure. I'm only being living here for a short time. I'm originally from Tijuana, Mexico. I'm Mexican. Yes, I know. It's weird because n nobody believes me. Uh, I mean, some people can say, can tell because of my accent that I'm uh, from another place, but I'm kind, I'm blonde and I'm very tall. I don't look like a Mexican. I'm not being racist here. It's just uh, the stereotype. Or maybe we are all racist, I don't know. I don't know you, and you don't know me. Okay, so I've been trying to paint a lot of uh, corn demons because I didn't have any and I now have two squads of eight uh, blood letters and I have uh, my blood thirster my demon prince and one squad of three uh, juggernauts I mean blood crushers to have another squad of blood crushers and another squad I think I want about four squads of blood letters four squads of eight so that I can bring a lot Starting to take shape. And whenever I'm done assembling this juggernaut, I think that's gonna be it. Um, if you like this kind of videos, you should tell me. If no people see it, then I'm not gonna do it again. because it's kind of hard for me to come up with a topic to talk about I'm just uh, talking sense senselessly and it can be fun when you forget that you're talking to a camera and you can say offensive things like I did just a moment ago but it's all fun in games. I mean, we are good people, right? I'm actually a very opinionated pe uh, person, and uh, I really like to get into arguments and get into fights with people. Not really to be. Uh, to be an asshole, or to be, or to be a, a moron. I'm just interested in debate. I want people to change my mind. I want people to talk to me, and um, I would like to point out their fallacies. 
and stuff like that. I think I'm good. I think I'm a good debater. Sort of. But don't we all? I think we all have a little bit of a... We think that we know our stuff very well. We, we always think that we are uh, moral persons and that we are on the right always. But... Like, a, like on the show Daredevil, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but one of the things that I like about that show is that uh, the evil guy, the Kingpin, uh, was doing evil things and he didn't know that he was evil. He was uh, just doing it for, for the greater good. Um, and sometimes people think that they are doing things for the greater good, but they don't know. They don't really know. And uh, how would anybody know? I don't know. Talking about deep stuff here. This is bad. I just want to finish this so that the video is over. Because I'm just rambling like a crazy person. Crazy person. I'm just a crazy person. Mr. Fish. Um, nobody calls me Fish. Just you guys. So that you know. My name is Alan. I've said it a lot of times, but nobody calls me Fish. Uh, not because it's a bad thing, but... Um, it's just something that I embraced from other people, like uh, people called our group in school apathetic and uh, sort of antisocial, and I just embraced it. I'm the apathetic fish. And uh, I kind of like the, how that sounds. Uh, the fish is not really taking from any uh, mythology or religion, it's just an animal that I identify with. I don't know why. I was a lot weirder back when I was in high school. And I've changed a lot. And all I can do is just embrace what has happened so far and this is who I am. I mean, it takes a lot of time to assemble miniatures. It's not something that I enjoy that much. And here's a pet peeve from mine. Some people don't know how to mount their blood crushers. And that kind of bothers me. Um, you have to kind of find the way that it's uh, supposed to be hanging on on the blood crusher. Um, this thing has to go into the collar and uh, the feet usually have some uh, sort of uh, clue that you can uh, kind of find out where it goes if you try to Put it somewhere around the these uh, metal metal parts. 
those pistons. I think this one goes a little, a little bit more to the bottom because uh, it has to reach all the way up here. I don't know if you can see it. It has to reach all the way up here so that it can grab the collar. So I think it's gonna go something like this. But I've seen some people just having their uh, blood pressure just floating like this. And I kind of makes me <laughs> a little bit uh, uncomfortable. That's okay. Let's just finish this. Finish it. And I fear a little bit that maybe I assembled the wrong uh, blood pressure. I hope not. I didn't look at the numbers in the sprue. I just cut most of the pieces out. I think uh, each sprue has one blood crusher, if I remember correctly. So pretty much all of the pieces there are uh, adjacent to each other belong to the same miniature. So I'm just... I just trust that GW did his work well. And uh, hope it works out. So it would be nice if you would let me comment telling me what would you like. I mean, ask me questions or tell me what you want me to talk about. I can talk about pretty much anything. Even even if it's um, very um, controversial, I can maybe talk about some of that stuff. But know that the purpose of this channel is for the hobby, not really to talk about those things. I wouldn't like to get into religion or politics or stuff like that, but. In regular life, I have no problem with that. And in my channel, I don't know. I don't know yet if I want to get into that. I mean, having a debate on the comments would drive a lot more views and comments, so that would be pretty neat. Because I really need the viewership. I kind of feel like... Um, I think I, I'm one of the biggest channels of painting, I'm one of the, I would say, kind of mainstream painting channels, uh, one of the most visited for the regular sort of quality videos on miniatures, um, 40k, and uh, I think I think this model is not reaching all the way into the color of corn. Come on. I have to figure that out. Okay, there we go. No, wait. I'll figure it out. And I think that uh, the channel is not going to grow very much anymore. All I can do is make entertaining content that people want to see a little bit more. But I'm not that kind of... Uh, I don't have a big personality or... I'm not particularly funny. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Maybe this is not... Maybe this is not the correct blood letter that goes on top. I'll have to figure that out. But it should be. I'll look at the uh, instructions later.
What do you guys think? What should I do that could really make my channel more popular? I mean, I would really like to do this as a job, but as it stands right now, it's not really it's not really paying off. This is just for the love of the hobby. That's pretty much it. I know I screw up sometimes. I think some of my tutorials are a little bit below uh, the quality that I'm used to do. I think that uh, sometimes I screw up. And some people don't notice, some people don't care, some people think it's good enough. I am very critical of myself, generally. And I would like to improve. Hmm. All right then. I leave it at that, and I'll figure out what's wrong on my own. Maybe I cut it wrong. Maybe I put the wrong piece. I don't know. All right then. So. Uh, let me know, know if you like this kind of video and if you would like to see more uh, just ask questions in the comments about whatever I said I said a lot of weird things but overall I think this was a an okay video it's kind of an informal video given that uh, the climate is so bad and uh, I don't know I'm very tired I woke up very early in the morning uh, to go to school and I did some homework and I'm just uh, taking a little time for the hobby and making a video for the channel at the same time Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little ramble of mine. Uh, hopefully this will... Uh, they, this will uh, let you know who I am and to get to know me a little bit better. Um, I need to try to fix that. And it bothers me. Alright. That's going to be it for today and thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, help me out on Patreon if you can. That I think uh, if, if more people would help me on Patreon I could do the videos more often because uh, having a little bit more extra cash means that I don't have to work on my other uh, part-time job as hard and I can just lay back and make more videos and that'll be pretty cool uh, so that's it thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month 
and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.